Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be breaking down my world record ants run, um, because there's a lot of things that I do that probably don't make sense to a few people, and I thought that I would break it down. So here what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that I have my 10 times precision, because the super crit really helps in the start of the ant challenge. Um, so I have my bear morph, I wait for my bees to get there, and then I just place on the sprinkler. I forget to start my coconuts, but I do get my saw. Um, so one of the most important things in ants at this level is making sure that you remember to use your saw. Um, the reason this is so important is because the saw really helps kill a lot of ants, and th the faster the ants are dead, the more your bees will make tokens. And it's really important that you have a lot of flames going on. Um, because they are what help you get to the next round almost instantly. So if you look at the round thing, um, the flames are collecting enough pollen to instantly shoot that up. So this star I think gets to like 18,000. I was kind of freaking out at the time because this is an insane star. I, I make it so big because of an elite scythe bug where it might not even be a bug, just the, the dark flames do a lot more. So. I try to balance out getting flames and doing or, and keeping my 10 times precision um, because as you can see sometimes when my saw hits it does 30,000 damage and that's because of the precision and I got the 10 times there um, just barely it's hard to keep it with fire that's definitely one of the hardest things about ants at this level it's, keeping precision along with the fire ants because you sometimes have to run across fire. I do lose precision at some point but I'm still just on top of my saw here and uh, staying in flames because you really need that two times flame blessing or whatever it is almost all the time. Here I actually run out of flames but luckily my saw is able to keep collecting enough pollen for instance. And another thing that's annoying about running ants when going for world record runs is that a lot of servers are just simply too laggy. Sometimes the game freezes. Um, it, it's happening here, but it doesn't happen much during this run, so I was fine with it. But yeah, there's some servers where you literally just, it's not possible to get an ants world record. It's too laggy. Scorching Star really helps um, with with the pollen in some some parts, especially in the later later rounds. You have to collect more pollen, and the star really helps with that. So that's a 16, I guess 17k star, which is really good. Um, I haven't seen anything like that on main game, so. These precise bees really help with making a lot of um, red boost tokens to summon stars, so they're definitely going to be a huge thing in main game going for ant world records, but as I said before, at this level of ants, it's all about summoning the ants, not actually killing them. So I think a perfect score is probably 540 around that range. Um, and that's like without any lag and instant summoning the whole time. You can only summon the ants every so often, so like there's a one or two second cooldown b between rounds, so. This might be the record breaking star, I'm not sure. I know I had one star during attempts that reached like 28k. The precise bee in general also just collects this stupid amount of pollen um, as any hive color too. 
It's a, it's a really good B. I'm definitely going to be running a lot in main game. Probably not as many as I'm running here. I think this is 16, but... So, as you can see, we only have 14 seconds left on the clock, and we need basically 20 more ants. So, in these last few seconds here, I summon some, kill some, and then there's one last summon here where I get all of them in my saw, and that's the 525. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.